Hey everybody, welcome to Adventures with Peps. It's me, it's Peps. This week on Let's Paint, we are painting Judge Fire. He is one of the Dark Judges, one of the original four. He is covered in flames, which symbolize his need for conquest. He's probably the most aggressive out of the four. Hopefully there's some images popping up and you'll get a feel of what he looks like. But he was one of the few side mortis that didn't have a helmet. And his main way of killing his victims was with his flames trident, which was a horrific way to burn up. And he's viewed as the most dangerous out of all the judges, as he is the only one with a long range attack, to be honest. He is pretty creepy looking. So let's get into the painting video. All right, hopefully I have this set up correctly and you can hear my wonderful voice. As you can see, black prime. Heavy grey dry brush just to start showing off some depth. We're going to grab the base Corax White by Citadel Color and give it another heavy dry brush. This will just pick up the absolute higher points on it. I'm going to go heavy from the top down. Whilst I'm doing that, let's have a little chat about the Judge. So as a human, he was known as Judge Fugo. And he earned the name Judge Fire after he set fire to a school because the students were doing a noise violation and ignoring him which is bloody crazy and then later on in the novel series you learn that he joins a resistance group while still a human and ultimately leads the group to their death at the hands of the newly created judge death this guy is mean he is so mean he uh oh, there's so much about him it's quite scary. So he uh, did not want to actually travel to other dimensions like Judge Death did. He was quite happy in his little kingdom that he had. He did not want to hang around with anyone else. And ultimately, he only left Dead World because he oh, dropped the model there. As he found out that Death was being imprisoned in Judge Anderson's body. Otherwise, he did actually stayed at home which is pretty surprising, but he would go on to kill millions and his fire spread through blocks like nobody's business and he caused a massive death toll, probably one of the largest out of all the Dark Judges. And we now move on to the Pallid Bone, which is for his hands and face. But yeah, he's been an iconic figure, he looks like the devil. It is, he's pretty terrifying to look at. He's got the trident, he's got the pitchfork, he's going to burn people alive. He is just terrifying. I, I don't know how the artists drew him, but they've done such an iconic job on him. The fire looked amazing. It's really quite challenging to want to paint this model because he's covered in flames and to do it justice... I'm really not sure I was up to the job. So many paint jobs out there actually just show them as like a fire. They don't bother with any of these steps that I'm doing. So I guess it's really up to how you want him to look. I like the idea of the old judge's uniform coming through and having the bone and hopefully some green popping out. These are all iconic bits that I want to have, so you will see them on the model. And whilst I finish up this stage, let's jump forward a little. The next step will be Grave Lord Grey, which is going to be used on the uniform. I remember the graphic novel, is it Young Death? I believe it was called, where he tells his story to a journalist in Mega City One. The judges of his planet wear dark grey and technically orange. Uh, uniforms so I'm kind of doing a little nod to that with the dark grey I do use green because ultimately they're having to use the judges equipment that they've found in MC1 so they're not able to get the original gear that they would have had even though their corrupting powers are able to manipulate the uniform slightly they can't change everything also, if you've not read the background I'm making up for these characters, they're actually going to represent cosplayers in Mega City 1. 
Reason for this is the scale is off with the Judge Death figure that is currently out from Warlord Games. These guys look a little short next to him, so I can't use them as a group at this stage. So I've created a known little lore idea that there's a group of cosplayers that during the Chaos Day actually saw the Dark Judges and it completely broke their minds and now they cosplay as the Dark Judges. If you've not read any of it, head over to the community page where I've got their stats to use in the RPG Games Workshop game from the 1980s. And then hopefully once I've got Death made, we will make a little diorama to make him into a citizen pack for the Warlord games. Now, I'm just trying to be as careful as I can with this being such a dark colour. If I mess up now with the bone, that's going to be a pain to fix. So I'm just taking my time whilst you watch me finish up this stage rather than skip forward. This is probably a good time to say like, comment, subscribe. I'm getting a lot of traction at the moment, which I am loving, and I fully appreciate that from you guys. Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to work on my watch time and try and make these videos as entertaining as possible. So let me know in the comments if there's anything you want to see, if there's a figure you want to see painted from one of the sets over the years. See if I've got it in the collection or if I can find it on Flea Bay. Otherwise, just drop me a comment. What do you want to see? Do you want to see lore videos on Judge Dredd? Do you want to see more 40k? Do you want to see more Marvel Crisis? More computer games? Just let me know. This info is really helping me. So drop me a comment. Now we are going back to the bone to fix his belt buckle. I completely missed it like a fool. You'll also notice his feet I've done in the the grey. I should have done it bone realistically, but I forgot. So they're just going to be Gravelord grey. And then, as you probably saw, I grabbed the Grim Black. I'm purely using this on the trident just to make it a bit darker than his uniform. This is the weapon that caused the judges a lot of trouble. He was one of the few judges that had a ranged attack and this trident could easily kill a judge. It could also damage pat wagons and hedge wagons so it was a real dangerous weapon during uh, any battle against the dark judges. How Judge Dredd survived fighting all four of them, I will never know. That was some thick plot armor for definite. They should have slaughtered him, to be fair. But this model is so iconic. There's something just so devilly about him. He has come out of hell. He is claiming souls. If you saw him inside your, your block, you knew you were in trouble. At least you stood a chance against the others, you could run away and hide. Which is what the cadet judges did, but I feel if fire had found you, he'd just burn the building around you. And his backstory of the fact that he just set a school on fire because of noise violations, that's just creepy. Now to start on the fire, so we're going to start with Zealot Yellow. If I remember the theory correctly when it comes to fire, the brighter colours are in the centre of the fire and they go out to darker, so my goal is to use the yellow, then hop onto the orange and then hop onto the red. So this stage isn't hugely exciting, you're just going to see me hop around the model putting yellow down, so we can skip forward a little. Alright, some final touches of the yellow. He has already taken shape. This is such a fun model to paint. As you can see, I still need to do the yellow on the back, but you get the idea. With the yellow drying, we hop onto the orc skin, and we're going to use that on his knee pads and his belt. Nothing surprising here. I based his uniform slightly off his own back home, plus obviously MC1. So he's got to have his bright knee pads. Whilst I'm messing around with them, that will allow the yellow some time to dry. I can also hop back in 
to the yellow paint and finish up the back here because I completely blanked out and missed a few spots. Now it's time to start darkening the fire down. So we're going to use the fire giant orange. I'm going to try my best to splatter this on. I want yellow coming through, but the yellow needs to be closer to features. So as you see on the head, I feel that's probably the best example. I'm staying higher up, leaving some yellow stripes. You can see me trying to work it out in my brain where I want to hit. Sorry, the camera's gone a bit blurry here. It really likes my hands. As you can see, I'm kind of just dabbing my brush along some points on the model just to pick it out. And with that stage complete, whilst the orange is still wet, I'm going to grab the blood red. There we go. And we are going to use that right now. And hopefully the orange and red will bleed together to give me a very cheap and easy blending effect. Now I'm going to use this really on the tip of the models. I'm also using my finger to dab it. I'm not worried if my finger lifts off the paint because it will just be white underneath. And that will just make it look like a hot point in the fire. But yeah, I'm just dab, 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 dab. This model is so cool. I didn't think I was going to enjoy painting this one as much as I did. It genuinely surprised me. Which is always nice when that happens. But look at it. I am very happy. Whoop, let's get this in focus. I am very happy with how this has turned out. It's still wet at the moment. I think uh, when you see the photos at the end of this, you'll appreciate even though it's so simple, it's come out really well. And with that, we've come to an end. So enjoy the photos. Make sure you head over to the community page to check out the RPG stats. And I will catch you very soon. Thank you for watching. And as always, like, comment, subscribe. I post five times a week, roughly. Yeah, I'm trying to do solo play PC game on a Wednesday. Thursdays, we're trying to do the Imperium Magazine in 40k. Fridays is going to be 2000 AD Day. Saturday, Marvel. And Sunday, two-player computer gaming. So I hope you can stop by and watch. Until then, cheers for watching.